past gives a middle finger to the future. It's always haunted me. Thought of getting older. Ending up like my parents. So I took fate into my own hands. And everything got a little fucked up. know me. My name is Emmy. I'm an American. Don't hold that against me, though. My family is from Gori, and I think our paths may have been intertwined, to say the least. I was wondering, are you the Patrick Sullivan whose family used to live on Thistle Lane? Hi, it's me again. I don't mean to harass you, but my situation is a little precarious, a bit life or death. I know this isn't the normal message you'd get from a stranger. Smiley face. Hello, Emmy. I am Patrick Sullivan. And my family did used to live on Tissalane. Not gonna lie, I lost my breath when I read your last message. It's really you. <laughs> now I'm left with so many questions to ask. It might be better to do it in person. I'm actually planning a trip there. To Gori. All right. You've captured my curiosity. Let's meet. And grab a drink when you arrive. Maybe I can answer some of your queries of the past.
Who made this? That was my mother's. It's very beautiful. You from the States? My family's originally from Gori. So, I figured it was time I paid it a visit. And you still have loved ones here? I am meeting someone, though. I guess you could say an old family friend. May the cat eat you. I may the devil eat the cat. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, it's oh. fine. Oh. oh, it's fine. That's my bad. It's fine, ma'am. Sorry. Uh, you American? Yeah. Yeah, it's... Uh, <clears throat> are you... I'm waiting for someone. So. Yeah. Yeah, I'm waiting for somebody, too. <laughs> cool. Wait. Patrick? What? Were you expecting someone else? No, I'm... I'm just... Hello, Emmy. Hello, Emmy. Hello, Emmy. Um, I am Patrick Sullivan, and my family I'm did... I'm confused. I'm... You've captured my curiosity. Let's meet. Sorry for the poor introduction. Cheers. So I am. Yeah, I was. I was expecting an Irish bro. Yes. Yeah, I completely mm -hmm. get it. Whenever I open my mouth in Ireland, people are very disappointed, but I've grown very accustomed to it. Mm. Mm. Sorry. I, I bet you I can guess what you're thinking. No, I don't think. I that think you can. I can. Guess. I don't. Think you're thinking, why don't we forgo these ineffectual expectations and just focus on the truth of this moment right now, which is that you're out of beer and I'm out of beer. Yeah, I'm wearing the other half of that, so. That was, is my I'm fault. I'm pretty aware yes. of that. <laughs> go on. You wanna go somewhere? What? <laughs> what? What, you didn't travel all this way to hang out at this bar, did you? Excellent guy to the city. Purse has a hole in it. 
Yeah, I know. Okay. You know, they used to serve peanuts here. It was awesome. There was this guy, though, who uh, choked on one of them one day, died. Ruined it for the rest of us. Okay. <clears throat> There's a reason why I wanted to meet you. Because you wanted to hear more stories about people being murdered by food. I understand. No. No. Good, because I have no more stories about people okay. being murdered by food. Our great-grandfathers used to have farms right next to each other. And I... I was hoping that you could, you know... shed some light on that. Okay. Like a hundred years ago was what we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, I know, I know. It's a, I wasn't... I unfortunately, know. I wasn't there. Okay, I know. I know it's <laughs> stupid, right? But I think that something happened. Sorry, I, I, I mean, my, my folks and my whole family, they just weren't very open about that kind of stuff. Yeah, but they, they must have told you something. I do know that my ancestors are from here. Right. But that's it. But that's why you moved back. I'd say move back, I'd say I'm from Philly and I moved here. Mm. It's, it's cool. No, no, no. What, were you just gonna leave? Yeah, I am, because I have researched so much, okay? It's okay. I've researched... You're, you're, I'm, you are Patrick Sullivan, right? Your family's from Gory? Yes. Yeah. When you first looked up at me, there was a flicker. It was like a very brisk moment, but it was there. I'm gonna get us more drinks. Stay right there. Tell me what you know about me. What, is this like a quiz or something? Mm-hmm. Something like that. Hi. Um, I don't know, you're not on, you're not on social media. Okay. Which I would find weird if I was on social media. But you're not. No. So let's just treat it like it's 1999. Do those things scare you? Mm, okay. <laughs> Our great-great-grandfathers live next to each other. Go deeper. I don't know. We didn't really get deep on Gmail. What's my favorite movie? <laughs> what? That's the deepest question I can think of. Yeah, but how would I know that? <laughs> what my favorite movie is? Yeah. I don't know. Inference? Context clues, Sherlock Holmes stuff. You can tell a lot about a person by their favorite movies, books, songs. Okay. What's your favorite movie? Thank you for asking. Um, Godfather 2. First is better. Ah. I used to watch old movies with my dad all the time, so. Oh. What's your favorite song? Mm, I don't have one. You don't have a favorite song? <laughs> no, I, I guess it was just never important. It's very important. Imagine you're on your deathbed and your doctor comes and is like, hey, what what's color your... are the sheets? Of the deathbed? Yeah, you said imagine <laughs> I'm on my deathbed, so what color are the sheets? Okay, uh, um, dark purple. Okay. Okay, so you're... You're on this dark purple deathbed, and your doctor walks in and he says, you can only listen to one song, and one song only. What is it? 
I mean, this is like the last sound that's gonna penetrate your ears before you die. I mean, this is your last chorus, your last bridge, harmony, melody, solo. Cold coffee. By the forget nots. I don't think I know that. Yeah, one. you do. I don't. Yeah, you do. Yes, you do. It's like a. We shot a coffee as I light the man. I miss this place when it goes and flat. I miss this face when it's not. How old you were know I? it. How would I know that song? No, yeah. It was, it was, yeah, this is a hook. This is a hook. Gonna <laughs> gonna start to make it. I believe it like the fucking story. Yeah. What? What? Yeah. Gonna <laughs> gonna start to make it. Yeah, we're living, we're living like the fucking story. I don't know the song at all. <laughs> Good improvisation though. Very what? <laughs> so if it was me, I would have chosen like a Rolling Stones song or some Irish band. Oh, okay. Well, I'll, you know what? I'll ask the doctor if I can have an encore. <laughs> Someone's in here. It's just how it is out here, you know? One second it's raining, next second. How long are you in town for? I don't know yet. What do you do back in the States? What is that you do? Oh, uh, turning it back around. <laughs> I respect that. Um, I get fired a lot. OK, what is it that you want to do? Not get fired. Make money? I don't know. I write street poetry. It's stupid, it's just a hobby, but you know. Wanna hear it? I'm not gonna do it for you. Yeah, I wanna hear it. Uh-uh. <sighs> I'm gonna look like a jerk. Good thing you can't see yourself. <clears throat> the fate that you fill... The fate that you failed to manipulate. You had it great, but you... The fate that you failed to manipulate. You had it great, but you failed to communicate. Now I rate because I'm possessive, my needs are excessive, and I'm obsessive? Well, I'm sorry I'm obsessed, but you get what you manifest. You are what you think, you are what you eat, you are what you dream. 
But I scream inside. I try to think my way out, but the more I think, the more I sink. I take one blink like I'm on the brink of something better, but it never gets better. It only gets wetter because I'm still sinking. I was a kid who dreamed of being someone. I was a kid who dreamed of being someone. I was a kid who dreamed of being someone. The more I sink, the less I think there's any way out. Okay, let's go. Shit, don't be embarrassed. No, it's just a work in progress. No, it, doesn't it was good. No, I it's mean... fine. Please, just don't worry about it. What? Play me a song. I'm a way worse singer. Pull out your phone and play me a song. Do you have a specific request or genre just that you prefer? Play your favorite. My favorite. Patrick. Hope you like heavy metal. Can we, can we talk about what happened? What happened? That thing you just did, like the back bend, the hair flowing in the moonlight. Okay, um, you said that your family was all buried in one grave site in Gory. We don't, right, we don't have to talk about that. Let's pretend like we just met. We did? Yeah. Patrick? <laughs> Good, that's right. Uh, but like, just beyond all the emails and everything like that. Like, pretend like they didn't even happen. Okay, done. Yeah. What gets under your skin? 
this question. <laughs> so you can ask the questions, but you can't answer them. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Maybe I'm... I'm scared I won't know the answers. That I haven't spent enough time with myself. Also, cardboard. Cardboard? Cardboard. <laughs> I hate the texture. It's, I can't really describe it. I just hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate the texture of cardboard. I said it. OK. I said it. So opening Christmas gifts must be a fucking nightmare for you. Well, I don't particularly like Christmas, so. Wow. What? It was a pleasure meeting you. No. I thank you so much for the wine. Yeah. It was so nice. Oh, this yeah, great. right. Yeah, no, no. Okay, I, yeah, right. yeah, right. What? Okay, Christmas, uh -huh. along with many other holidays, was just created so that we could appreciate our family, right? Yeah. Do you not appreciate your family? I appreciate my little sister. But not your parents. <laughs> um... When I was little, my mom, she used to say, don't run out into traffic and get hit. But if you do, put on a show. That's very interesting advice. <laughs> very interesting. Where do your parents live now? My mother put a steak knife in my father's throat. She walked down into traffic. Got hit. I didn't mean to pray. It was her birthday. She didn't have a chance to put on a show. It all just seems so... Fucked up. I feel like my life is just like one giant sick play that I just keep watching and watching and I forget that that I'm in the cast. I'm like I'm the lead. I don't. I, I do not know what to say. Um, but my, my sister is, uh, she's pregnant. Yeah, so the family's gonna be getting a little bigger, which is great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, you though. You're an only child, right? Uh, what? That's, um... That's what you said in your emails. Yeah, yeah. The world doesn't need more of me. <sighs> Don't get too close.
Patrick? Where'd you go? Were you even here? Can we just meet tonight at Katie Daly's? 7 p.m. I wasn't following you. Uh, uh, hey, um, Shelby. Shelby, this is, um... Emmy? I know your name. Shelby lives in my building. Cool. Cool. Hi, Shelby, who lives in the building. Yeah, um, we were... I had forgotten that she and I had breakfast plans, and she took me to the most amazing breakfast. It was wildly mediocre. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I... I wasn't meaning to intrude, I just saw you. Who are you? <laughs> My great-grandfather knew Patrick's great-grandfather. Look, I was just walking Shelby back, so if you want to, like, just um, hang tight here, we're gonna... Be... I'll be back. Okay, uh, yeah.
gotta stop meeting like this. Yeah, so like a pound shop is basically just a dollar store. Knickknacks, patty wax. I never would have guessed that. Thank you. I didn't know when I first saw it. <laughs> Do you like black pudding? I don't know what that is. It's like pudding, but with like cereal and uh, pig's blood, I think, and barley groats or some shit. Come to think of it, I don't know if I like black pudding. Anyway, that place right there, that serves black pudding. Oh, this way. See that house right over there? You don't have to give me a tour. I find that it's my obligation to do so. That is the house of Foster Feeney. This is the part where you say like, Who's Foster Feeney? I'm so glad you asked. So uh, Foster Feeney was this tailor. Great story. And he loved his little brother more than anyone in the whole world, except for his wife, Rose. That just sounds like a- Nice. See, now Foster realized that it was anything but nice. When one day he walked home and his wife was spread eagle with his baby brother's tongue between her legs. So Foster flips out and he grabs one of these huge tailoring needles and he just jams it, jams it, right in his little brother's eye socket and it goes right into his brain, dead on sight, right? And then his wife's like, no, Foster, please don't, 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 Foster, no, Foster, no, no, no. He gets her right in the heart. Blood is splattering everywhere. Foster's covered in blood and he's just bleeding everywhere and she gets covered in blood, he gets covered in blood and... I'm sorry. Uh... I forgot about what you told me last night, and I just, I wasn't even thinking. It's, it's fine. My, my mom didn't use a sewing needle, so. I shouldn't have been telling that story. What happened next? No, come on. Finish what you started. I'm not going to finish this story. Are you sure? Okay, um, okay, so Foster, being the good tailor that he was, decides that he wanted to stitch the lovers back together. Sewed them? Yeah. But then the last memory that he had of them, naked, with his brother's mouth between her legs, he grabs them and drags them out to the front porch and grabs a spot of tea while all of the neighbors look on in horror as they see the naked, bloody adulterers just stitched up together. That's grotesque. Some say that uh, Rose never even met Foster's younger brother, that Foster just... Anyway, that's where he used to live. Called bullshit. No, true story. I swear to God. Heard it from this guy, Ed, at the pub. <laughs> okay, then you're full of shit. No, I mean, yes, I, I am full of shit, but this guy, Ed, he's a real stand-up guy. We would call him Honest Ed if his nickname weren't Horseface Ed. Because he's got a horse face. No, I got it. Thanks. I was just trying to break the ice. They're running out on me? No. I meant right now. Were you even thinking of me? This morning? When you were inside of me. Yes, I was thinking of, Jesus Christ. Okay, God, uh, yeah, I was. I just had somewhere to be. So you didn't intend on going home with me? If I had, what kind of person would I be? Do you want to be with that guy? Hey, you want the truth? It doesn't matter. It matters to me. No, it's fine, Patrick. It's fine, because this was never going to end well. That's not fair. <laughs> right, not well, fair. I didn't search you out so that I could give a shit about you. We were drunk last night. So? So I wanted information from you, and I didn't get it. OK, OK, OK. You wanna know why I left this morning?
or an asshole. A world class asshole. Michael, you're always so fucking early. Is that what it's like in the States? You have to be a shining fucking star of timeliness. I was hungry and you are late. What happened to you last night? I met someone. No. You brilliant asshole. Who is she? My great grandfather knew Patrick's great grandfather. Look, I was just walking Shelby back, so if you want to, like, just um, hang tight here, we're going to... I'll be back. Okay, uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Who the fuck is Patrick? That's what some people call me. No, they fucking don't. So you pick the only Yankee in all of Gory. She's pretty, though. Yeah. Bit gawky. Kind of an odd duck. You think? Well, see for yourself. She's stalking us. <sighs> I just saw her sitting there and like I couldn't not say something, you know? Great story. What's the move? There is none. Oh, don't go getting your knickers in a twist. Look, we've got fucking roaches in the walls. Every time I go to turn my lights on, it's like a fucking stampede. I left an iced coffee in the fridge the other day. I swear to God, they drank it. She's not gonna clean your flat for you. No, but she's American. She's got... I'm American. Uh, you're an emotional train wreck. <laughs> you're the equivalent of wearing a rabbit suit that covers your whole body. Do you even track what you're saying? Look, this could be good for us. Hmm? For you. We are flat broke. Yeah, I didn't come from the States to rob people. No. No, you came here to quit drinking, mm, to sober up. In Ireland, you're a fucking Egypt. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. Yeah, you know it's more than that. You got your heart stomped on. I get it. Now you've come here and you're wondering, oh, what am I doing? Am I good enough? How can I be better than I am right now? You done yet? <laughs> I don't know what will make you happy, but I do know what can make us some money. No. Look, nobody's got any work for you. Do you want to sell your poetry out in the street? Do you want to become a scrounger? Don't let the last time soil your vagina. People get hurt. Oh, if life was a movie, that could be its tagline. Or fucked up people, fuck people up. <laughs> That's actually better. Listen. She thinks you're somebody else. This could not be more perfect. Just take her out tonight. Mix this in her drink. When she conks out, text me the address. I'll do the rest. Who's this Patrick guy, anyway? I don't know. If he's rich and confident, maybe you should just be him. I left this morning because I looked at you. I watched you and not in a, not in a creepy way, but like I, I watched you and you were serene and calm and I smelled you and- Did you smell me in a creepy way? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the only way to smell someone. I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> I, look, I just got scared. Is all. So you're gonna miss your date? No, 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 no. I got scared because I... I don't think I'm a good person. And, uh... I didn't want to hurt you. I wish the sun would come out. My mom always said that sunshine was the best disinfectant. And it held everybody accountable. It's gonna rain. It always rains. It doesn't matter.
Do you want to go somewhere? I'm changing the subject. Yeah. all your friends? I want to introduce you to my great-grandfather, John Morda. 1900 to 1930. Do you know how he died? He went crazy. Killed all his farm animals and was found on the side of the road with his head split open. He died on his birthday. Okay. Your parents like I don't know quiet I guess aren't you a writer aren't you supposed to be able to articulate life I mean I, I write street poetry I, uh, I just use metaphor to sort through the thoughts that keep me up at night do people make fun of you when you say street poetry or, uh -huh. or just me mostly you <laughs> okay. You know that Airbnb that I'm staying at? Yeah, the one with the shitty electricity? <laughs> yeah. Belonged to my great-grandfather. You really are taking the grand tour of your past, huh? Yeah. They've been trying to rent it out for years, but nobody ever stays longer than a year. And when he died, they moved his body to this town. So that was cursed. Yeah, there's no such thing. What? As curses? Good luck, bad luck, spirituality. Look around. I'm sorry for earlier. It's OK. Seriously, I'm the one who should be sorry. I, I shouldn't have left you this morning. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I, um, when I first woke up this morning, I thought that I made you up. Do I feel real now? I emailed you. I know. <laughs> like, this morning. I didn't get it. What did it say? I didn't want things to end that way. To meet me at the bar for a do-over. Then I found you. Pretty good luck. <laughs> I am desperately trying to figure you out.
Sometimes I'm happy, but with my birthday coming up. What scares you about your birthday? Everything. Constantly haunted by the voices of my family. I'm pressuring you. You're looking at me like I'm crazy. I wasn't. I, I thought by now I'd be like some big writer or a husband, maybe even a father, made some kind of an impact on the world or anyone. Every time I hit a fork in the road, I choose the wrong path. Let's talk about something else. I just, I feel like screaming all the time. Do you want to scream right now? Night at midnight. It's coming up. You're not picking up your phone, and it's freaking me out. This has gone too far, Em. And I keep looking online. I can't find shit about him. everything they told us Just was a please lie. please don't trust a word he says, and pick up the fucking phone. Do you ever get anything stuck in your head? Like a thought? No. No, like a word or a sound. My monstrous list of fuck ups usually just runs on repeat. <laughs> Why? What's polluting your mind? It's like a sound, like like water dripping on a faucet or a pipe. You know. It's like. My mom used to repeat words. Yeah, it was almost like she 
She had Tourette's or something? But it wasn't that. She would... She would sit both me and my sister down and say, Ants. 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 Or she'd... She'd... She'd wander around the house, mumbling, Unlock. 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 My sister didn't know what the fuck she was talking about. But I, I did. Just kind of like... I know about your parents. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to just put that out. I just, I... I stumbled... I stumbled upon your family's line when I was researching mine. And, um... You know, they say drudging up the past is kind of like beating a dead horse at the end of the day. You're still just beating a dead horse, you know? Yeah. But I, your, your great grandfather, he had some disagreement with my great grandfather. Do you know, do you know Look, anything about that? I hate to sound like a broken record, but no, I don't. I know. I know, I just, I was just, I just hoping that you could you could shed a little light because I think I, I don't think know that... what to tell you. Okay? <laughs> Whatever it is you're going through, you just have to move on. Okay? Can I hear some of your poetry? Can I um can I just can I hear some of your poetry? I know, I mean, no. I know, but I'm just, um... Come on, please, Bash. Please distract me. I want you to take my mind off these thoughts. Come on, Patrick. I wanted a life intertwined, but with my own rope, I tied you down. Now you're gone, leaving me the clown. Though this makeup shows a smile, all the while, I'm the punchline. I'm not fine, although I try to be. You tried your best, but I failed to see. I couldn't fix you. You sure as hell couldn't fix me. Only I can change my ways, but I spend my days spinning like a compass that can't find true north. But things go south with such ease that I'm not pleased with myself. It's a disease for me. I'm trying to find the keys to my heart, but there's no ignition when my soul's in remission because I can't grant myself permission to move on. You know, they say the... Uh, the hardest part about being alive is feeling responsible for those who are dead. Check this place out.
Bought you a drink. Figured you could use one of these. Hey, um, I need to tell you something. The world is going to end. Your coat's on the floor. Grandfather killed his animal. Your grandfather shot himself in the head. Your mother killed your father. They've all gone mad. They've all gone mad. I got you a drink. They've all gone mad. 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 a bad time. There's no need to be frightened. Do I know you? I don't believe you do. There's, there's someone inside. My boyfriend. He's, he's big. Yes, there's a guy. But he's small. Like a little dog. My father built that house over there, over the road. And my family have lived on this land for decades. Patrick's family lived there. I know who you are. Who am I? You're an Ewarda. And this town hasn't been the same since your grandfather left Ireland. My father always thought your mother'd come back, but she never did. I read about what happened to her. <laughs> but I knew you'd come. <laughs> to see for yourself. <laughs> and every time someone comes to rent this cottage, I hope. 
hope it's you. <laughs> I know what you're capable of. But it now. wasn't our fault. That's always the excuse of life, isn't it? Someone else is always to blame, right? <laughs> <laughs> till your birthday.
past gives a middle finger to the future. It's always haunted me. Thought of getting older. So I took fate into my own hands. And everything got a little fucked up. Michael, then you'd realize I'd been texting you. You better have a good excuse. I'm gonna keep video messaging you until you answer. You wouldn't believe the night I just had. Met this guy, short thing, kind of looked like a penguin, but weird and aggressive, like most dates tend to get. And the idiot takes a drink and <coughs> jackpot. He also has a really nice collection of sneakers or hats. Michael, and don't go giving me any more bullshit like, oh, this one's not like the others. Really, if you just took the time to get to know her, you'd see that she's so different. I'm f Oh, hold on. Okay, I've just seen your text. Be right there. Save some fun for me. 